30 seconds away from the liftoff. The ignition sequence will begin at T minus 2.5 seconds. T minus 20 seconds now. 15 seconds. Locks topping and work. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Main engine start. 2, 1, Zero and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Phoenix, a distant science outpost seeking clues of the evolution at the polar region of Mars. The vehicle is responding. motors and we're seeing the normal levels of disturbances as we go approach Mach 1. Correction, we're past Mach 1. We're supersonic. Solid motors beginning to taper off. We've passed max Q. First stage performance looking good. Five miles in altitude. Solid motor burnout, air start ignition, and solid motor jettison. Ground starts have been jettisoned, and the air start motors are up and running, climbing up to their peak chamber pressures. We see the normal amounts of uh, disturbances in the roll axis at solid motor jettison. It's coming up on T plus 90 seconds. Both Berniers and the main engine chamber pressures are still strong. Vehicle is now 17 miles altitude. First stage systems continue to look good. We're approaching solid motor burnout. Solid motor burnout and jettison. We've had a good jettison. All three air start motors have left the vehicle, and we've initiated our LOX tank relief reset. Chain, uh, LOX tank top pressure increasing as expected. Main engine and verniers continue to burn well. Coming up on T plus 160 seconds. The vehicle is now 34 miles altitude. And my downrange distance and velocity uh, don't appear to be working on the ground computer. All I have is altitude. Vehicle body rates are very smooth at this time. Coming up on T plus 195 seconds into the mission. First stage systems continue to look good. Box tank top pressure continues to rise slowly, and our main engine and vernier chamber pressures are solid. Vehicle body rates are normal, and the vehicle is climbing in altitude, running right down the center of the range track. T plus 240 seconds. Our next event will be a MECO coming up in about 20 seconds. We have a range liftoff time of 0 0.9. Hours, 26 minutes, 34 decimal 596 seconds. We have uh, have our float switches and have enabled Miko. There's Miko. The burners continue to burn well under chamber pressure, under tank pressure, I'm sorry. 
Vico. You've separated the stages and ignited the second stage. T plus 530, about another 20 seconds to go to Seco. Looking at very clean data from Antigua. And Seco. We do have a verbal confirmation that the second stage has restarted. And we're picking up the last segments of the burn at this time, starting to receive our data once again. Okay, it's coming in now. We have a few more seconds into this burn. This is a second stage burn to raise the apogee. Got a little bit less than 30 seconds to go on this burn. Chamber pressure looks good. And our third stage is alive and well. We are seeing real-time data come back from it also. Hydraulic system pressure and return pressure are at the levels they should be. And RAC's jet activity is nominal. We passed their SECO. I was going to say we passed our nominal SECO time. But uh, we did receive and confirm SECO and hydraulic pump shutdown within the nominal time constraints. Next activity will be third stage spin up followed by third stage separation. few more seconds till third stage step. We have spin up. And we should have separated from the second stage. Third stage is floating free. We show a good rate good rotation rate of the third stage. About 10 seconds to go before third stage ignition. Ignition, third stage ignition, and NCS enable. So by that by that data, uh, we can also confirm the third stage has separated cleanly from the second stage. Picking up a, a little more on the mutation rate as expected. Tico. They have acquired the spacecraft from their uh, tracking station in Goldstone, and uh, it's uh, power positive and it's uh, searching for the sun so everything appears uh, normal but uh, it was a little bit of uh, anxious moments there quite it seemed like an eternity but uh, it was about 20 minutes or so where we weren't sure we were hoping uh, Phoenix would phone home and uh, and she did. did so we're very happy 